So, uh, Mr. Krieber, um, uh, the, the uh, art director of the original Planet of the Apes, um, I, I have a couple of questions for you. I guess the first one I wanted to ask is, um, when you were working on the project uh, at the time, uh, did you have an idea that it was going to be the phenomenon that, that it's you know, become today when you were working on it? No, hardly, hardly ever in my career I really predicted any successes. So you just take it as, you, as it comes and you know, try to do your job well, hope it's successful, and, and uh, I don't think anybody on the film realized that how popular uh, Planet of the Apes has become, even through the years. Mm -hmm. I find there's so many fans and so much uh, interest in, in, you know, <coughs> particular picture. <coughs> Although I've, I've been pretty um, lucky to have worked on several pictures that were very top gross. <coughs> and, uh, so at the time we were just doing our job. Okay, okay. I uh, will, um, in terms of uh, the process uh, that you have, because you know obviously things are um, a little more advanced in terms of what they're doing uh, with visual effects these days. Is there, is there anything that you've noticed currently with the, the business that you know wasn't necessarily available then, and, and how you know how uh, how that's kind of forced you or or uh, um, forced you to kind of adjust to what it may be like to to uh, uh, do that today as opposed to the way it was uh, years ago. Well, I find that most of the uh, uh, digital uh, uh, work uh, essentially is, is you know, better tools to do the same thing. I mean, you have to satisfy the requirements of the story, or the, or the script, and doing that sometimes it's it's a lot better to do it simpler. And, and overdo it. Uh, most of the films today, overdo because it. they have these these wonderful tools that they don't keep it simple enough to, to and just tell the story. I think that it's made the, the uh, you know interpreting the script uh, far more complicated because they have the tools to do it. Mm -hmm. And they just go beyond what it takes mm -hmm. to tell the story. So, you, so do you think they kind of, with, with the resources that are available now, that is kind of shortchanged in terms of the process that you know that you feel would be necessary to effectively? Um, to well, do that? when you do when you do a Transformers or <laughs> films like that, uh, it's so obvious that there's no human way to do it as a as a hard mechanical set, mm -hmm. you know, and so many things that they've done on some of these uh, science fiction shows and some of the, uh, you know, what would be complicated stories. Um, I don't know where I was going with that, but I, uh, uh, it's sort of, I'm not too interested in those kind of pictures, although I've done, you know, some pretty far out things, right. but uh, we did everything real. Practically. And, you know, and, and uh, uh, when I see some of these things, it would be virtually impossible to do any other way except digitally. Right. Uh, then you go, well, you know, you don't believe it, even though it looks great. Right, know, right. And it should be you know, accepted. Uh, I, I think it's. Uh, I think the audiences are more accustomed to it now than they were, say, five or ten years ago. Right. And uh, maybe, maybe the younger generation tends to believe that kind of thing <laughs> when I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm not saying it's not well done. Just such a oh no, no, I know, I no, I understand what you're saying. So. Um, with that being said, last question, um, 
Well, was there any particular film that you've seen recently that that you know has really kind of blown you away in terms of you know what's you know what's uh, possible now in terms of uh, um, uh, the creation of you know set creations and, and um, the environments that can be you know uh, created in film? Well, uh, I, I'm a fan of Avatar. I think okay, it's a wonderful film, and I think. There is a case of uh, uh, somehow there's some as strange as it was. There's some kind of reality to that, to the way that story was told, and, and you know this clash of societies and right. and uh, you know, I I loved it. A lot of people didn't, but <laughs> one of the people that did, and I hope a lot of people. I think you're the majority. It. Yeah, <laughs> so. it's a great. Thing. All right, then, thank you. Thank you for your sure. time. Okay, and do you want to move over and talk to Bill here? Okay. Um. Uh -huh. yeah, that was fun. That was good. It was very well received. We've got another interview for the first time. Hang on, and that's Dave Lowry from Oz, the Great Power. Oh, well, as soon as he's done, I'll get you on with him. How's Great. that? Okay. That's awesome. Gonna make me blush. <laughs> <laughs>